We're finished with the first three weeks, now we're on week four. And this is exercise number one, week four. Exercise one is always listening to our overall song. This week we're going to do it a little different. Instead of listening to the performance track, we're going to listen to the backing track. So there are no vocals. So can we hear and pick up on the auditory cues that tell us which each section starts? Um, and I think that's a fascinating thing to do. So have the class listen and see if they can follow along with the song sheet and imagine which part they're in. And it's good to do this without singing with it first because all those auditory cues are there all over the place to help you find each section. And to listen to it without singing makes the ear more tuned to hearing that. So try that out and I'm sure you'll all have fun. Life and Balance, week number four, exercise number two. two. Exercise two is always about our rhythmic study. And this week in the rhythmic study, we're gonna dig in a little deeper. We're gonna actually go to rhythmic study on the website and you'll see the actual pulse instruments, foundation instruments and the accent instruments all broken down with the rhythms written out and the sounding of the instrument. Don't worry if you can't read music, just work with the sound. Uh, if you can read music, you have a nice tool there. So, so as you're working with those sounds, you could be working on the beginner level, the intermediate level, or the advanced level. So in, in working with any, whatever level you're working in, um, make the students sing the rhythm first. And here's what I mean by singing the rhythm. Say I listen to the Danuba part, which I have right here. So that's boom, 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 boom. So I'm imitating it. If I know music and I can count it, I'd go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So I'm counting that rhythm. Don't worry if you can't count it. You could just go boom, 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 boom. And if, if a person can sing the rhythm or recite the rhythm, they can play the rhythm. And it's always the way to learn the rhythm. So have fun with it. Take it as far as you can, depending on what level you're at. Life and Balance, week number four, exercise number three. In the lesson three, we're always working on the melodic study. So then I would go to the melodic study on the website this week and look at each section of the song. All of the melodic parts are broken down into the, the verse, the chorus, the hay section, and the bridge. And See if you can learn all those parts this week. You know, make sure they can sing all those parts. And you can play the examples on the website and sing the examples. You can, if, if that's difficult to follow for some reason, use the performance video. For, and whatever the case is, you're working on all those parts. And that's the melodic study of the week is getting the entire melody for the whole piece down. So have fun. Life and Balance, week four, Exercise four. four. Exercise four is our performance. Now, we're still going to, this is the last week that we're going to do singing along with the performance video for many of us. Now, some of us are just going to sing along with the performance video all the way through, but we'll break down into doing the backing tracks next week. But this week, again, we're going to play the performance video and see if we can sing all the way through and just see how well we do. So we're all singing the melody. Um, so have fun with it and we'll see how far we go.